So what are National Marine Sanctuaries? And why should we care about them? National Marine Sanctuaries are underwater parks that protect America's most iconic natural and cultural marine resources, including coral reefs, marine animals, and shipwrecks. Plus, as you're about to discover, they give volunteers a chance to help protect planet Earth. How? Let's begin decoding that story in an unlikely place, usually blanketed in snow and ice. This is my first probably marine experience for sure. I think that was in Duluth. You're saying, oh, I want you. <laughs> <laughs> to all the fish, yeah. From a little girl selling lemonade on yeah. the street in Alpena in front of our house to making it big. I wasn't able to make it back for the volunteer ceremony, so they Skyped me in this award, the Volunteer of the Year for 2014. This really um, opened the door for me to go to Capitol Hill Ocean Week for the Young Leaders in Ocean Stewardship panel. Hannah McDonald, uh, who is the Volunteer of the Year for the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. Educating the youth and adults about how harmful microplastics are to our waters is very important. I got to be surrounded by the leaders in ocean conservation and marine stewardship. Ocean, I got to do a yeah. toast to Sylvia Earle. She's such a role model. It was incredible. They put it on the screen for us there because we couldn't be there. It was quite a oh, neat the, the chow. Yeah. yeah, it was quite a neat experience for our family. Today is an exciting day with the Big Five Dive movie premiere. That's really exciting for me. The Big Five Dive is a group of women getting together on Patty Women's Dive Day in 2016, and we dove all five of the Great Lakes in 24 hours. The dive that we did in Lake Huron was on the Joseph Fay, and to come full circle, the first dive that I did as an open water diver was on the Joseph Fay, and I happened to do it with my dad. Fell in love with diving in the Great Lakes and diving on shipwrecks on this shipwreck, and it was incredible to be able to come back to this dive with a wonderful group of women completing our Lake Huron dive at sunrise. I can't even put it into words how great it was. After doing that feat, I could do anything. <laughs> I really do believe that Ocean for Life, with their conservation focus, set me on track to become a marine steward. Yeah. I'm Hannah McDonald from Alpena, Michigan. I'm 17, and I'm currently standing on the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary. The Ocean for Life program is a National Marine Sanctuaries program that takes 15 Middle Eastern students and 15 American students to one of the National Marine Sanctuaries to educate them both on cultural understanding and most importantly, the interconnectedness of the ocean. Ocean for Life was my first experience really in the ocean itself. I got to snorkel Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary in the kelp forest. I got to kayak in the National Marine Sanctuary as well along the beautiful Channel Islands. For me, National Marine Sanctuaries are much more than protected underwater parks. It's the National Marine Sanctuaries that have changed my life and set me on a career path that I am super passionate about and I'm in love with. I also think that being on the shore of one of the Great Lakes in the winter is such a unique experience. Hearing the water hit the ice is really awesome. You just don't get this kind of experience on the ocean, really, either. It's pretty unique. There's a picture of her holding her hand up to the glass and the dolphins on the other side of it. My story is, it's where it all started. As far as relationships go, the, her relationship with the environment, it's probably sort of her first love. I get emotional talking about it. It's a spiritual experience for me to wake up and see this massive body of water. It's just beautiful and you transcend it. It pulls you out into it and it makes everything else in your life small. And that's... Well said. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. It's, it's a spiritual experience and to not take care of it, 
And she makes me so proud because she's doing a lot to try to take care of this plant. Sorry, <laughs> it's not stage, it's just how it is, but it's true. I love, people live through you. They live through the kinds of things that you want to do. You're so passionate about, about this planet. There's been so many times I've said to you, you're taking care of this big blue planet. It's going to be people like you that are going to do it, that your generation. It's like you're at the cutting edge and the last frontier to make a difference. I hope to show people that a girl from the Great Lakes went to university in the Midwest really can be interconnected with the ocean. We're all one, we're all connected. The Great Lakes eventually lead to the ocean. I kind of like to think of myself as just following the Great Lakes out to sea. The Great Lakes, I hope, understand that I'm in love with them, but I'm also in love with the ocean, and the ocean is being pressed with some really disastrous issues that need to be fixed. And I find my calling with helping preserve the ocean. It'll be hard to leave this place after graduating, but the ocean's calling my name, and I gotta go.